We should take great pride in the progress that we've made over the last eight years. That's the bottom line. No foreign terrorist organization has successfully planned and executed an attack on our homeland. What is he talking about? I mean, what is the president talking about? The Sarnet brothers get trained overseas and come back here to do their act. Others had direct contact with ISIS representatives. You mean we, we, Al Baghdadi didn't come to the United States and, and, and do this himself? Instead, it was ISIS. What's the difference between ISIS led and ISIS inspired? Zero. What happened in San Bernardino? They pledged allegiance to Al Baghdadi. These are ISIS attacks. Today's terrorists can kill innocent people, but they don't pose an existential threat to our nation, and we must not make the mistake of elevating them as if they do. Existential threat means concern with existence, especially human existence, which is exactly what the terrorists are posing to do. And they're not just one-offs with one person occasionally killed, which would be bad enough. These are multiple casualty events. You will not have safety, even in your dreams, until you embrace Islam. If we act like this is a war between the United States and Islam, we're not just going to lose more Americans to terrorist attacks. But we'll also lose sight of the very principles we claim to defend.